Is it over? Is it really over? Oh, thank God. All right, everyone, you can come out now. 2020's over. <sighs> it's the new year. And if there's one thing that defined the last year of my life, it was Animal Crossing. I spent so much of 2020 building up my island, meeting new villagers, and doing all the things I probably would have done in real life had we been allowed outside this year. And I turned the whole thing into a fun series of videos that you guys seem to really enjoy. So I wouldn't feel right ringing in the new year without taking one more trip to an island to spend the holidays safely in quarantine with all my fake animal friends. God, I miss going outside. But before we get started, as always, if you like this video and want to keep up to date with future ones, just head down below this video and click the big red subscribe button and ring the tiny little gray bell next to it to make sure you never miss a future upload. I really appreciate any form of support you guys show this channel, whether it's subscribing, checking out the merch, or just watching the videos. So whatever you do, thank you, and let's get on with the Animal Crossing. Now, last time on an island, I bought stuff off the black market, got scammed by the rhino, was stalked by the bunny, and invited a deer to the island after the koala and pig left, and finally reached a four-star island rating. That all took a lot of work and wasn't exactly relaxing. I didn't expect to scream in these Animal Crossing videos as much as I do, but here we are. So this time around, I don't want to stress too much. I just want to chill with all my villagers and enjoy the last month of the year. Oh yeah, I started recording this video a month ago at the start of December. And fun fact about December, that's when I happened! My birthday is December 1st, so the first thing I got to experience when returning to an island was a birthday party. I step out of my house and Tank is just there. Waiting. Watching. He's like, yo, come with me. Dude, I just got up. Can you give me a second? Wow! He takes me to his place where Renee and Bella are waiting for a cute little birthday party. There's cake, presents, and even a pinata. Tank's like, now you really gotta swing at this thing if you wanna... Are, are these cupcakes? Tank, did you put cupcakes in the pinata? Now they're all over the floor and I... <sighs> Thank you, Tank. I collect my floor cupcakes, spend a little time with everyone at the party, and eventually head out to see the rest of the town. Hey, Jambet, how's it going? Oh my gosh, Fofi! Where have you been, man? Aw, oh, I bet you were off on some wild adventures. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been a while. Uh, wait, have I not just been in my house for the last three months? Does my Animal Crossing character do things when I'm not playing? Uh, that idea makes me uncomfortable for some reason, so, uh... Oh, hey, uh, Hopkins, how you doing? Oh my god, Fulpy, you're back! I was so worried, I haven't seen you in forever! Uh, that's sweet, Hop. Yeah, it was nothing to worry about, I was just- I have been waiting outside your house all month. Do not leave me again. Okay, Hopkins hasn't changed a bit, and I'm very, very scared. Let's, let's just move on. Actually, after four videos, I think we need to take roll real quick, just to remember who all actually lives on an island at this point. Currently, there's me, Tank, Renee, Jambet, Bella, Lobo, Kurlos, Hopkins, Zell, and Elise. Okay, maybe not Elise. Yeah, I talked to Elise one day and she said she kind of wanted to move. And as much as I didn't want anyone to move away right before the holidays, I decided to let her head off to New Horizons. Oh wait! And since last time we also said goodbye to Canberra, we've got two openings on an island right now that I want to fill before the holidays come around. Nook Miles ticket, board a flight, hop to a new island, and eventually I run into an anteater named Annabelle. You look funny. You're gonna live on my island now. And. Oh crap, a reindeer named Eric. Okay, that is perfect for December. Absolutely 100% yes, I want a reindeer neighbor for Christmas. And with that, an island is once again at capacity. Just ignore all the free space here, 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 and here. There's just no way we could accept anyone else. And all this just in time for it to start snowing. Now, in the gross, disappointing real world, it doesn't snow much where I live. So I was stoked to see the snow start falling on an island. And there's even a few cool new things you can do once winter rolls in. There's snowflakes to catch, ornaments to collect, the cedar trees get all decorated with lights. Except the ones that don't and your plans to decorate the yard for Christmas get completely ruined. Dang it. And these little snowballs start showing up around the island. Kick them around for a while and eventually they'll get all bulbous and you can build a snowman out of them. And if you build the snowman just right, they'll be like, oh dear me, you've done it. I'm perfect. Look at how perfect I am. What an exquisite specimen I am. <laughs> Good lord, that was annoying. This 
This is much better. So winter's pretty cool, but who cares about winter without Christmas? Well, technically in Animal Crossing, it's called Toy Day. Every year on December 24th, this dude named Jingle shows up to do Santa's dirty work. I walk up to the guy, he hands me a mysterious sack and tells me to deliver gifts to everyone on the island. So you're asking me to do your job, which is also Santa's job. All right, it's a little sketchy, not gonna lie, but it's not the worst thing to happen to me on this island. Plus, I'll never pass up the chance to live out my third favorite childhood Christmas movie, so let's become the Santa Claus. I delivered everyone's gifts, and Jingle gave me a picture of himself. Toy Day sucks. But hey, now that Toy Day's over, we've got New Year's to look forward to. But yeah, I don't know, I've got some time to kill beforehand, so I might go ahead and sell some fruit, maybe build a bridge, and Oh, what the heck, let's splurge on an expansion for my house. I've actually been doing a lot of redecorating lately. A few episodes back, I unveiled Toilet Room, the room of only toilet. But these days, Toilet Room's got a lot more going on. Now there's toilet, other toilet, bathtub, bath with no tub, science desk, video game, guitar pedals, and my favorite, synthesizer. <laughs> Always good to keep your expensive electronics right next to large amounts of running water. And now, after giving Tom Nook nearly $600,000, I present to you room number three, the third one. Now I can do all that desk work that I totally have while listening to the one record I own. I don't know, really, I just like the firework walls and all these instruments my friend Sarah gave to me. Now I have a saxophone. And Thank you, Sarah. Consider us even for when you chased me down with an ax that one time. So now that I've stimulated the economy of an island while also being financially responsible enough to not end up in debt, take that nook. We finally reached New Year's Eve and it is a party, dude. We got this huge countdown timer in the plaza and look, Isabelle and Tom Nook actually came outside for once. Things are getting wild. I show up around three minutes to midnight, grab myself a fun hat, some party poppers and a glow stick and I am ready. I run around and talk to all my villagers to get them hyped, but I noticed that Zell, Annabelle, and Bella weren't around. So I checked in on all of them just to make sure they're having a good time because dang it, introverts deserve hype too. I make it back to the town plaza just in time for the final countdown. everybody. Happy New Year, Junk and Bears Hill. Happy New Year, Easter Egg that's been sitting here since April. Happy New Year, concert venue no one uses. Happy New Year, all those who've left me. And Happy New Year to you guys. It's officially 2021. And looking up at those fireworks spelling out 2021, I'm reminded of where this whole stupid Animal Crossing adventure started. Back in episode one, when I visited my old town in New Leaf. Fireworks are going off tonight even though I'm playing in the day. I look up to the sky to watch the fireworks. There's a big flash and the fireworks spell out 2012. And even though it's only been about nine months, it really does feel like we've come full circle since that first episode. I've done and learned so much since then. What a year.